All right, guys, so here's an extension of an isosceles triangle. Um, this one might be a little trickier because you'll notice that normally if we're trying to find a missing angle of an isosceles triangle, we already have one of the angles. But in this isosceles triangle, we don't know any of the angles. And that is a struggle. But we do know an exterior angle. Uh, we have an exterior angle of 135 degrees. So first, let's note that this angle and this angle are congruent because we have two sides that are equal, therefore we have two angles that are equal, okay? So whatever this angle is, x will also be it. These two angles are congruent. Now, how do I find one of the angles in the triangle so that I can find the rest? Well, if we look at this line right here at the bottom, um, a line or a straight angle is 180 degrees. So what we have here is a linear pair. Um, the angle that I have marked in pink here is uh, a linear pair with this angle. These two make a linear pair, okay? 180 degrees. So what we have to do is we have to take 180 minus 135 and we will get 45 degrees. So this angle right here is 45 degrees. Just keep in mind when you're looking at these kinds of problems, you just have to know that if you ever see a line like this one, okay, and it has been cut into two angles, those two angles form 180 degrees because remember a line is 180 degrees. That's why this is called a linear pair. Now we also noted that this is an isosceles triangle, so x is also 45 degrees. So we know x already, 45. Now we just have to find y. Now we use our, our theorem that states that the three angles inside of a triangle add up to 180. So 180 minus 45 minus 45. I'm minusing the two angles inside the triangle that I already know. And we end up with 90. So y is 90. Okay. But the one thing most students forget is this part right here, that these two angles add up to 180 degrees because they are a linear pair. They form a line and a straight angle like that is 180 degrees. Okay. Thanks, guys.